Good evening, uh, Munir Ajam. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded in English. I've been recording quite a bit in Arabic. And we have recorded uh, on this topic more than one video in Arabic as well. But uh, we were posting this question online today. And uh, it might be useful um, after collecting some input from uh, other professionals around the world on this topic uh, to share our opinion. And what do we think uh, in regard to a very important topics on project management? It's been uh, our observation that, of course, uh, over the years, project management offices uh, have not been getting good reports uh, with a lot of failures, or maybe PMOs are not lasting for long. Uh, and recent, maybe in the last couple to three years, we have seen some improvements in project management offices, and we've been hearing more and more studies that project management offices are starting to uh, add value to the organization and maybe play more of strategic roles. Um, this is as far as organization are concerned. However, when it comes to countries and governments projects, uh, we don't hear much. Um, a while back, we've heard about some initiative in the UK. We've heard about the law that was passed in the US uh, before President Obama left office on the Program Management Accountability Act. Um, we've seen some initiatives in the Arab world, in Saudi Arabia, for example, establishing a national project management office. In the UAE, there has been interest at the federal levels as well for training into project management, and there are similar initiatives going on. However, um, what we think is that uh, project management, as we've probably recorded in many videos, it is uh, not one size fits all, and there is a need for customization and tailoring of the project management approaches, systems, methodologies from one organization to another. And of course, uh, with government project, there is another layer of complexity or another layer of specialization, if we wish. So basically, what we are saying is between, you know, project management core principles are the same, regardless where you are. However, in general, uh, government projects, whether they are internal, uh, business type project, HR, training, finance, uh, customer service, or capital project or technology project, of course, they share some of the private sector. You know, obviously, uh, capital investment projects, uh, real estate and new facilities in the private sector and the government sector are similar. Same thing with technology, application development, softwares, uh, hardwares in the government and outside government. They are similar in terms of project life cycles. What are the differences then? The differences are probably in the concept of um, funding, uh, project approvals, um, budgeting, for example, in the government sector, maybe in some, some areas, projects are included part of the annual planning budgets that is part of department budgets, especially the internal one, versus the external, um, versus project-based budgeting. This may be one difference. Another difference we've seen in the Arab world, we don't know maybe if this is the case in Europe or Africa or North America or South America or other Asian countries, is that internal resources, for example, that are involved in managing project in the government sector across West Asia, what we've seen, they are not charged to the project. They are included part of their department annual budgets. Uh, so I'm not sure if this practice is common in other areas or not. So basically what we are saying is there are, uh, obviously there are many similarities on project regardless where you execute them in the world, where you are implementing them in the world, but uh, working in the nonprofit environment or the government sector or for-profit businesses uh, could have some special considera consideration, consideration, sorry. So the question we have been raising and we're looking for discussion through the online media, is that should governments, countries, or maybe at the state level, uh, or 
governance or muhafaza, depending on uh, what terminology has been used, um, or uh, at the country level, so whether at the state or the country, we're not going to go as far down as the local government, the cities, because cities' local government become more or less like uh, maybe a large organization. Uh, but government-wise, it's different. So the question is, yeah, should governments of states or countries establish authorities for managing projects? Now, what we are saying when we say authority, this is more of a, a governance role rather than an execution or implementation role. So basically, this kind of organization or this kind of authority will establish national, uh, if it's at the country level, let's, let's talk about country level, national standards, policies, governance, guideline for managing project across all different sectors of the organization uh, or of the country. Uh, so basically the different ministries, the different agencies uh, will have to comply with the policies and the guideline uh, for the government. Maybe this in many other organizations around the world, this is already established. But what I think from our observation is what's been established is maybe more of budgeting guidelines or project approval guideline, not necessarily the system, the organizational project management system for managing projects which could be implemented across all organizations consistently uh, uh, and where every government authority or every government agency or ministry will follow the main principal guidelines. Now, of course, these could be guidelines or could be mandates with accountability and compliance, like any other laws uh, and regulation that exist. Now, with this concept, uh, what we are saying, the National Government Office or National Project Management Authority would could have responsibility for more than one area. Uh, obviously, one area would be establishing the organizational project management system with all of its components, as we just mentioned, policies, guideline, but in also include statistics, uh, KPIs, KPIs on all projects and past project and program. We've been using the word project, but obviously could be used for programs as well. Uh, lessons learned. Um, in addition, as part of the organization project management system, they could establish methodologies for managing the different type of project. For example, an IT project in the Ministry of Education is probably very similar to an IT project in Ministry of Labor uh, or in the Ministry of Health. A construction project, a real estate development facilities project in the Ministry of Education is probably the same thing as in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, so from that perspective, um, uh, the, this uh, such an organizational project management system that would be included as part of the authority, they could also do things like, uh, of course, methodologies. What else could such an authority include? There are many other things. I mean, obviously, um, maybe I will have another video specifically talking about our idea about what should the national authority include in terms of department or centers. Uh, but in general, in general, and maybe we can cut the video short with this, uh, is that is basically it's an authority yeah, that will be responsible for all government-related projects in terms of policies and guidelines, not in terms of implementation. Now, of course, if the government want to establish a project management uh, division or project management uh, uh, company that will manage all their projects instead of having project management consultants, uh, or having uh, uh, maybe depend on the general contractor. That's a totally separate subject. And that would, be, would our recommendation would be to do so uh, if they want to do it, uh, leave it to every ministry to do it, or maybe have a shared services kind of a concept. Again, that could be a separate video on its own. So with this, we close. What do you think? Let us hear your opinion. Yeah, Can countries, is there benefits? Is there a greater value for establishing national project management authorities? Your opinion? Thank you.